Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In my previous tutorials, we have seen how to integrate Jenkins with Maven. We also have seen how to use MS Build. We have created our own simple C Sharp project and we have done the MS Build. And we have also seen how to create Jenkins pipeline jobs and how to deploy your application to Docker using Jenkins pipeline as code. So if you have not seen those tutorials, please go to my channel and uh, go through it so in this tutorial we are going to set up sonar cube as a docker container so sonar cube is an open source platform uh, developed by sonar source and this is specifically used for inspection of code quality and to perform automatic reviews with the static analysis of code and it, sonar cube detects the bugs code smells and also to detect uh, vulnerabilities so by end of this tutorial, we'll have a sonar cube running as a Docker container with persistent volume, and we'll be able to do static code analysis. We'll be able to see the bugs detected as part of scan. So let's uh, start. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, like the video, share, and comment. Since uh, we are going to run sonar cube as a Docker container, I have already have installed Docker on a CentOS machine. Uh, if you run the Docker version, you can see the Docker version is listed. And we are going to use Docker Hub to get the SonarCube image. So before that, let's go through the documentation for SonarCube. So if you go through the documentation page, you will see the minimum requirement of the machine. So I am having this uh, machine which have uh, more than two gigabytes of RAM and enough storage. So if you don't have that configuration, your Sonar Cube may not be running correctly. So Sonar Cube does, you know, you need a database, but uh, this is a Docker container, so we are not uh, using Postgres or different uh, database. And there are some Linux settings which we need to change. So we need to map the memory uh, size and also the file system. So some settings, which is basically because of the uh, sonar cube using the elastic search uh, on the backend so if you go to docker hub and search for uh, sonar cube you will be able to get the image for it so here you can see the requirement so you can go through this so we need to make these uh, changes in the linux machine so it's the same as we see it in the uh, sonar cube uh, documentation page so let's run this in the uh, our sendos machine So I have given all the links and the commands in the video description so you don't have to worry just copy and paste it from the video description okay great so we are done with the basic configuration uh, for uh, the CentOS now if you scroll down in the docker hub uh, documentation page It it's talks about uh, a few uh, config files which uh, we can map, and if you click on this link, it's taking us to the SonarCube documentation page, where it says how to use a Docker for running SonarCube. So we will make use of this command. This is the simplest uh, Docker container run command. Uh, we will also see in future how we can enhance this with uh, attaching some of the volumes uh, for configuration files. So we are going to run Docker run d in detached mode and uh, the name of the container sonar cube and we are going to use the port 9000 uh, from host and as well as from container and let's uh, call for the image which is sonar cube so it's downloading the image from the docker hub since it's not available locally on the machine so let's wait for the download to be completed If you see, it has to download approximately around 260 megabytes of data. So it takes uh, time depending upon your internet connection. OK, 
okay we are almost done so it's just extracting the downloaded content okay great so we have the container created let's run docker ps and you can see the docker container for sonar cube is running so now we can access the sonar cube instance using the host ip address and the port 9000 which is a uh, map to the local host so if you have used a different port number you have to use that uh, to access the sonar cube instance okay let's wait uh, it's starting up okay great so you can see we are in the home page and we can log in so the default uh, login is uh, admin and the password is also admin and if you click on login we are able to log into the sonar cube home page now if you see we have different tabs here like issues rules quality gates you know, profiles administration so you can go through these things uh, one by one so in administration we will be able to create uh, new users you can set you know different uh, properties there now we can create a new project by clicking on uh, create new project and let's give a name for the project key uh, this project key we will be using in different places when we try to integrate with the uh, uh, no, uh, Jenkins and also the token so these are two things we mainly use okay you can see a test project is created now and uh, from the quality gates you can see some percentage uh, we have set like quality coverage duplicate line so depending upon that you know we'll be getting the output we can also create our own customized uh, quality gates which you can use it for your integration and uh, scanning the code So you can set the values how much you want to set so you can just uh, try out these things you know uh, from uh, the quality gate section now with the administration section as i said we can uh, manage the users and the projects we have we have a security section so uh, different options are the groups the global permission so uh, different parameters which you can uh, go through it you can try to look through it and you'll be able to understand more from uh, from there itself so this generate secret key so you can do it from here as well as I said this may be one of the key parameters which we may use it for integrations okay let me clear out the screen now okay so when you run the docker ps we have this uh, container running so i'm going to remove the current sonar cube container using docker arm hyphen f f because it's i'm going to force the running container to be deleted if you stop the container you don't need to use a hyphen f now i'm going to create a new docker container for sonar cube it's going to be this almost same with docker run hyphen d the name is sonar cube and the port 9000 but the change is we are going to use hyphen v the volume parameter and we are going to map few volumes like uh, sonar cube underscore conf which will be mapped to the docker container location which is slash opt slash sonar cube slash conf and uh, we are going to map other volume which is sonar cube underscore extension and this is going to be mapped to the location in docker which is slash opt slash sonar cube slash extensions and that we are going to add one more volume this is going to be sonar cube underscore data sorry it's going to be sonar cube underscore locks and uh, it's going to be mapped to the location inside the container which is slash opt slash sonar cube slash locks and one more uh, volume 
so it's not mandatory you have to do all these things but if you map it you know to your local host it's easy for you to make these changes in any of these files in this location so the last volume is underscore data uh, which is going to be mapped to slash opt sonar cube slash data and we are going to run the container using the image sonar cube So each the each of these uh, location have different files which you may be able have to use it in your configuration for sonar cube so let's run it so it's trying to download the image yep there is a typo error in the sonar cube that's why it's not able to find the image in the repository so let's change that into sonar cube and let's run the container again Okay, this time it's quick because the image is already downloaded so if you run the docker ps we have a docker container running for sonar cube and if you run the command docker volume ls so this will list down all the volumes attached to your uh, host machine so if you see there are four volumes which is sonar cube underscore conf data extension and logs which we created and the default location for the volumes in docker is slash var lib slash docker slash volume and there will be underscore data folder uh, inside the uh, vol volume name like sonar cube underscore conf and underscore data now if you see there is a file called uh, sonar dot properties so if you read through the file there are a lot of options which you can set which you will be using when you are really you know in depth going to use the sonar cube so but we are not going to make any changes at this point it's just to show you you know uh, there are some properties which we can use from these uh, files let's uh, try out the other folders for volume as well So you can see there are a lot of uh, other folders under the extension like plugins the drivers so all those things will be stored in this folder now if we go to the sora cube underscore logs we have uh, different logs available here like access.log we have a uh, web.log sonar.log so these things will be helpful for you to do some troubleshooting when the sonar cube instance is uh, not running so it should be helpful uh, to understand which all logs are available in which location so uh, this is the first instance so i'm going to log in with admin account as again because we are not logged into the uh, instance so if i go to the access.log now we can see some log for the login information so before that we were not able to see any data okay so to summarize we have seen how to run sonar cube as a docker container and we have created a simple sonar cube instance with the port exposed to 9000 and we also have seen how to run a docker container with docker volumes mapped to config extension data and logs so we can access sonar cube with the web portal using the host ip address and port 9000 we have created our own new project define our quality gates and uh, seeing how where are, what are the options available in sonar cube so i hope this tutorial is informative for you thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment